there was the fitness tracker, and now, while you were still getting used to that idea, there's the next generation fitness tracker. Introducing the LG Lifeband Touch and the Samsung Gear Fit. Now both of these are fitness bands that you wear on your wrist and they track your activity and your steps throughout the day. But they're also a little bit smartwatch. They connect to your phone and can notify you of incoming texts and phone calls. But most people are still deciding if they need a fitness tracker or a smartwatch at all. So is combining two of those things in one device the way to go? Now at first blush, it seems like the LG Lifeband Touch is gonna be a slam dunk because it's only 150 bucks and you can use it with any phone. The Gear Fit only works with a couple of Samsung phones. Unfortunately, that phone integration, not so great. You can't get text or email notifications if you're using an iPhone and the call notification on an iPhone doesn't include caller ID. And the Lifeband Touch cannot measure your heart rate. If you want that, you have to spend $180 on LG's very innovative new heart rate sensing earbuds. $180. No. Now on the plus side, I do like that I can control music playback from the Lifeband Touch's touch screen, although it only controls music that's on the phone, not Spotify. It also has motivational messages like move, 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 or stretch now. It did make me stretch one time, but eventually these just get to be too much and you can turn it off. Then there's the Gear Fit. It looks a lot nicer and it can do heart rate tracking all by itself. Also in terms of a smartwatch, this thing can do more than the LG LifePan Touch. You get your text notifications and calling, but you also get Facebook, Twitter, reminders, and it even works with a couple other apps. That can get a little distracting because your wrist is buzzing all the time, but you can turn it off when you're working out. You can also control music from here, which is a plus, but it can't store any music, so you still have to have your phone with you. And here's the thing, Samsung's S Health software, which comes pre-installed on a lot of their phones, can already track your movement using the phone's GPS, and you can put in calorie and workout information, and the S5 can even take your heart rate. So why do you need this thing? Neither of these bands is doing a good enough job at the two things that they're each trying to do. If you're gonna be a smartwatch, then I want better notifications and I want apps. And if you're gonna be a fitness band, then do more than the fitness bands that already exist. Why can't I have personal training built into the software or a personalized nutrition plan? I feel like the only reason that these gadgets exist is in case Apple does a smartwatch and then they won't feel like they were behind the curve. Well, that is not a reason for you to buy one, so don't bother.